you know, first of all, my dad spoke. You know, I always thought I was the favorite, but he didn't speak in my way. So, well, for all, for, for all of you who don't know, I'm Alvin. I'm Alakine's eldest brother. You know, a very wise man once told me that the best man's speech should only last as long as the groom makes love. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. Just for the record, that included the foreplay. <laughs> How about another round of applause for Ali Kain? He's a good start. And so the lion marries the lamb. Hey man, don't flatter yourself, bro. You're not the lion in this relationship. It's true, I mean, Cecilia, man, don't let this innocent facade fool you. I mean, you should have seen her at Comic-Con. She was clawing and screaming her way through a sea of like 15-year-old little girls just to get a glimpse of Robert Pattinson. I mean, I've known her for so many years. She's always so poised, right? But man, she, I've never seen her so determined, so focused. She was precise and strategic, you know? Man, you know, from that day on, I knew that Cecilia can do anything and get anything she wants. You know, but in all honesty, I think you are the best thing that's ever happened to Ali Khan. You're not only beautiful, you're loving and caring, but most importantly, you are extremely loyal to her family. And that's why I know that you will make an amazing wife and a great mom. You know, I think I can speak for the Ui family. We love you. And finally, finally, you're officially part of this crazy family. Now, speaking of crazy, you know, I don't even know where to begin with this guy. Yeah, I don't even know where to begin with this guy. All I can remember is, you know, this guy, when we were young, he used to follow me around. He did everything I did, copied everything I did. When, he, when we went to high school, you know, this guy, you know, up first I'm like, oh, okay, it was cute, it was cute and all. But as we get older, you know, he started getting a little competitive. You know, when I cut my hair, he'll cut his hair shorter. When I grew out my hair, he grew out his hair longer. You know, when I bought a car, he buys a car too. I lower my car, he lowers his car lower, where that thing was practically scraping on the ground, making sparks on the freeway. You know, there's even this one time where, you know, I bought this awesome pants I couldn't, wait, I couldn't wait to wear. And all of a sudden, they just vanished from my closet. Next thing you know, I see Kain wearing one. And he goes, yeah, man, I've had this all along. He had one exactly like it. You know, as we get older, you know, you think it stopped right there, right? But no, I buy a house, he buys a house too. I get a dog, he gets a dog too. <laughs> Last year, I get married to a crazy Twilight fan, Anne-Marie, <laughs> in a very hot month of September. And guess what? <laughs> Cecilia is crazy for Twilight. It's September, and it's over 100 degrees, no less. Bro, I think you win, man. I surrender. You win. Seriously. But you know, in all honesty, you know, today, I played a part, and maybe, you know, I may have obtained the role of best man. But compared to Kain, I'm just an average good guy. I think, I think tonight we can all agree who the best man is, right? It's a bartender back there with all the free drinks. Let's give it up to the bar staff. No, but seriously, bro, you know, all this time, you know, I'm the one who's always wanted to be just like you. You know, you've accomplished so many great things. You got a beautiful wife. You got a great job that sent you to London. And you got a great group of friends here who are here just for you, sweating their asses off. 
You know what? You know, you're a good man, you're a great brother, and you're an even better friend. I can't, I can't imagine ever saying this, but I am so proud to have a little brother that I can look up to. I love you, man. So, you know, I guess this is part of speech where, since I'm married and all, I'm supposed to give some kind of marriage advice. Well, one thing that Anne Marie and I never do, we never go to bed angry. We'll usually just stay up and argue. <laughs> so don't do that. But you know what? Those nights will happen. So I have something special just for you. You know, I made this specially for Kine, and I've learned this, so I know the trick. This is something that um, I can guarantee you, I can guarantee you will win all arguments with Celia. Is that right? That's right. You know, <laughs> you know, and since you like to change your look so much, I got you the variety pack. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up to Mr. and Mrs. Robert Panson. 